Hello, everybody. Welcome to January 10th um, portfolio update. And well, my portfolio actually went up like 1.2% today, one week, 8.5%, one month down, 25%, three months, 50,000. Yeah, today doesn't count. One year, 163,000. And all time, 49,000 or 169%. And like, 69% is 0.69. Actually, like, my computer turned on for some reason. So and I realized that like, I am a pretty bad investor because, like, uh, first thing first, like, uh, today only test starting. I go up. Most of my stop is in the green. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know why. So it might be because the instruments like register for, um, like last week was pretty bad. So that's why it dropped, and the whole market went up. Is because uh, my opinion is because like people are bullish about inflation coming down and um, that's why the stock market is uh, I think like Nasdaq went out one percent and S P five hundred went out zero point seven percent. Oh so like uh why I think I am a pretty bad investor, like I'm the worst investor right now because like when your stock Jobs like for example this one seventy eight percent. Your my excuse is that um I'm a long term investor so I don't need to sell, but the stop keep dropping so you made a mistake but you don't want to realize you don't want to like admit I don't want to like <coughs> admit my mistake or uh did not foresee that coming so that means. Uh, I made a huge mistake on the uh, stocks that went down like eighty uh, percent. Even though it's like less than zero point one of my position, but it's still a mistake. Indeed, as you can see, I have see I even have a stock that went down as much as ninety five point nine one percent. So, what that proves to me that I am not a, like I am not a good investor like ninety one percent. You can find multiple stocks on my portfolio that actually went down ninety percent, more than ninety percent. So which is like, I don't know how how like how you find like how you get a even worse investor than that. If I if I like realize my mistake and early on. Uh, I might have avoided those ninety percent loss stocks. Well, first solar went out hundred percent, but I only have two dollars on it. Mm, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I think right now, like, and I feel good investor because I have so many losing stocks that I did not sell out, and my excuse was I am a long term investor and. Don't want to like <clears throat> cut my loss on it because it's kind of like hard headed. So let's make sure like right now, I, as I gain more experience, like I will know that to look at balance sheet if they can survive. But yeah, every innovative company is losing a lot of money when the next bull market comes around. I am ninety nine point nine nine percent sure I will make the same mistake again invest on innovative money losing companies so yeah so that's my thinking for right now yeah so thank you for watching today's video and i think tomorrow is wednesday and when thursday comes there will be a cpi report coming out so a lot of investors will be watching so i will see you tomorrow